Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining this uh, fourth session uh, for our live demo jam around NiFi. Uh, today, we are going to talk about NiFi running on Kubernetes. Uh, at Clara, we are really excited about this new feature we are bringing to you. Um, we will be doing a live demo and also trying to answer as many questions uh, about. Uh, but yeah, very quickly, from my point of view, NiFi is a framework to move data from a place uh, A to a place B and make sure that uh, the data is available in the right destination, in the right format, at the right time for downstream applications. That's uh, really what NiFi is about. Um, NiFi is a web UI. You can drag and drop your components, design the flow. Uh, we have hundreds of processors. Um, uh, to interact and connect to any system you can think of. Uh, and we also provide the NIFA registry uh, to, let's say, provide all the features around CI CD. I did a demo jam around NIFA registry and flow deployment automation. You may want to uh, check this out. Um, that's, that's really what NIFA is about. At Cloudera, we provide NIFA uh, inside the Cloudera data platform, CDP. Uh, which is available in many form factors. One of uh, these form factors is on public cloud, uh, where we rely on, um, well, managed services uh, from the cloud provider. Uh, and the one we are going to talk about today is the managed service for Kubernetes on AWS. Uh, before I uh, hand over to Michael and the demo, uh, before this session, we sent a question on the social media to ask you what uh, you feel like is the main advantage of running Apache NiFi on Kubernetes. And for most of you, it's really the auto-scaling. Um, so that's, that's what we will be focusing on today. Um, and obviously, yes, auto-scaling for NiFi is a big thing. Doing it right is not uh, easy. Um, and um, that's one of the main features we provide uh, today with NiFi on Kubernetes. Um, so let's let's get started. Uh, first, the first step of this session is actually to ask you how you run NiFi today. And I'm going to uh, send you this question. So hopefully you should see the question on your screen and you should be uh, able to answer. Uh, the question is really, how do you run um, uh, NiFi today? Is it deployed on premises, on bare metal, is it deployed on VMs, but still on premises? Is it in the cloud? Or are you already running uh, NiFi in containers? Uh, so that's that's something we, we want to, uh, to know, uh, if you can share this with us. So I will give you a, a few seconds. Uh, just so you know, I mean, we are using the same Apache NiFi. Uh, so we are not making any change to NiFi itself for running it on Kubernetes. Um, um, so feel free to ask all of your questions, but uh, what we are using and what we are providing is really uh, Apache NiFi, as you can find it uh, upstream in the open source community. So let's let's see your answers. So that's that's really uh, interesting. So actually, we have something very well distributed. Um, uh, Michael, I don't know what you can do about this, but uh, <laughs> I didn't. Ex I can me, say uh, I didn't expect it. Uh, yeah. So at the, it, it's great to see that um, twenty-five percent of you are already running it in in containers. Um, if I if I could talk to you right now directly, my next question would be: Is that standalone Docker containers, or did you already uh, port it to uh, Kubernetes? So. Yeah, of those 25% that are already running on Kubernetes, as Pierre said, just fire your questions um, at us and, and maybe, yeah, in, in the question, let us know a bit about what, what sort of challenges you've been running into that would be super interesting and we can, um, we can dive into that later in the Q&A section. But yeah, generally speaking, um, it's, we are seeing most of our customers today are running NiFi either on premises or they're running it in, in public cloud on virtual machines. Um, but over the last couple of years, as you all know, that's why you're here, Kubernetes has become more, more popular. Uh, a lot of our customers have started 
uh, implementing centralized Kubernetes clusters. And now teams are looking to uh, to move their applications over to these Kubernetes clusters. So if you look at it from a very like simplistic point of view, uh, it, everything seems simple, right? It's you, you just have a Kubernetes cluster, you, you take Nifi and you make it run on Kubernetes and, and everyone's happy, right? It's it should be that simple, right? So uh, what some of our customers have, have asked us to do is, hey, can you just give me um, always the latest Docker image of, of NiFi? Can you give me uh, some Helm charts so I can install it? But others might have asked us, hey, do you have a NiFi operator? Because I, I'm really into this operator concept um, that is being that is becoming more popular in the open source community as well. So once you start peeling back all these layers, it actually doesn't become that straightforward anymore. And there's many different ways of how you can make something run on Kubernetes. And it also depends a lot on uh, certain you know, implementation details of the application that you want to bring to Kubernetes. So there's a lot of NiFi specific things um, that we need to take care of when we, when we talk about bringing it to Kubernetes. So unfortunately, it's not as easy as just putting NiFi on Kubernetes. Um, and we we had to do some more research with our with our customers as well. So